everybody. We've almost made it to the end of our video series. This is video 17 of the Facility Design 101 Cannabis Production Facility Series. My name is Chris Besnoy with IceCan and of course IceCan.com. Today we're going to talk about flow within your facility and why we've designed the facility with certain rooms in certain areas. We've already gone through the office portion. We've gone through secured storage, cultivation, processing. Now let's talk about why certain rooms are where they're located in the facility. We've already talked about gowning. This is a very important thing. The idea is that you're fully gowned before you even enter into the main hallway. We talked about hallways and why there are separate hallways here. The idea is that I could segregate the processing from the cultivation minus the extraction room, but the processing from cultivation, that could be an EU GMP compliance piece where you separate processing from cultivation. Could be access control door, fully sealed. Nonetheless, doesn't matter how many hallways you have, just be mindful of video surveillance cameras and of course length that takes you to walk product to certain areas within the facility. We've already talked about the layout of this area here, the shipping, the packaging, drying room, trimming, secured storage, and destruction. This is a great cluster of rooms because this is how the process normally goes. You've got your cultivation, you'll take it to trimming and drying or drying and trimming, the packaging, denaturing, shipping out to uh, whomever's buying the product. You've got your secured storage to store it overnight. You've got your cultivation rooms. In this case, we've got our clone mother and let's call it the horticulture prep room, all part of the cultivation process. Uh, across the hallway from your flower rooms, this is an important feature only because you're going to want to take your mothers and your clones, your clones into the flower room, that sort of thing. So production wise, it's really easy to go from here to here. All too often I've seen, let's say a clone room at one end of the facility and the flower room starts way over here. That's a long way to take product. Unless you have 27 clone rooms and a whole bunch of mother rooms, I see no reason to not put the flower rooms across from the mother and clone or at least your cultivation rooms. In this particular design, we also have the receiving quarantine and storage near your cultivation space. That makes perfect sense because supplies coming in here are going to be quarantined, they're going to be cleared and stored, and staff are going to be able to come in to be able to use that product for whatever cycle <clears throat> they happen to use them in, particularly cultivation. Most of the time, whenever you're receiving product, <clears throat> it may not go to your uh, processing areas, it usually will go to your cultivation areas. So from a flow point of view, this makes a lot of sense. You've got your flower, you've got your clones, you've got your mothers, your veg, right here down the bottom. You've got your receiving of any equipment or uh, any supplies coming in mainly meant for your cultivation. Once it passes through the cultivation process, you take it into drying and trim or trim and dry depending on your strategy. You take it into packaging, goes into secured storage, it goes out shipping to whomever it needs to go to. This is a logical design. We've already talked about airlocks and emergency exits, how that's important. We've already talked about sanitation stations, all that kind of fun stuff. We've also talked about the separation between office areas or dirty areas and clean environment. We've talked about how we like this office area here. Staff come in, they can go to the staff room, they can go to the washroom, they can get changed, go through gowning into the facility, or if you have any guests inside a reception, they have the ability to go to a common bathroom that's not within the production environment. Either way, a great separation between dirty, clean, secured, and unsecured environment or less secured environment, and people that pass through this door fully compliant, GXP compliant, fully gowned, hairnets, uh, booties, the whole nine yards, hand sanitized for a clean production environment. The next video we're going to go through is exterior. It's not going to be too in-depth, just going to give you an example of a typical ex exterior design for a cannabis production facility. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again. This informative video was brought to you by IceCan.com, the industry's first marketplace for new and used equipment. Whether you're looking for brand new equipment for your cannabis venture, maybe you're looking for some used equipment, we can easily source that for you and ship it to you anywhere in the world, right to your front doorstep. Maybe you're looking for some services. We know a lot of great people in this industry. You've been around for the past 10 years. We can easily help you and refer you to anybody that you may need, whether it's advisory services, regulatory compliance, maybe you're looking for some funding for your cannabis venture. Either way you look at it, we can easily help source that consultancy or that service you may need. Once again, thanks for watching. This is Ice TV brought to you by IceCan.com.